I'm here, folks, to talk about how I was able to subsidize my artistic work as a sculptor. I did that by working in the entertainment industry here in New York. As a struggling artist in the 1970s, I joined Local 829, United Scenic Artists of America. The union subsidizes the visual side of the entertainment industry. And now this includes scenic painting, scenic design, costume design, lighting design, sound design, and now they have added a graphics category. I got to work as a scenic artist in many areas of the entertainment business. That includes uh, Broadway, TV, feature films, commercials, and the Metropolitan Opera. The jobs were of varying length, but being well paid allowed me to subsidize my own work in my time off. Being accepted as a local 829 scenic artist member requires a certain amount of ability. There's usually a, uh, an in-person exam whereby you have to demonstrate your painting skills. The union also offers apprenticeships where you can work your way up to a full membership. Being retired, I don't know the current state of the industry, but I'm forever grateful to a union that watched my back and afforded me a comfortable pension to retire on. As a scenic artist, I had to learn how to uh, do many different faux techniques because uh, scenery is built from wood usually. So you have to simulate marble, textures, steel, what have you. So it was a learning experience. And I also, I also learned uh, a lot of glazing techniques that I was actually to use uh, privately for private clients. Uh, so that, that also afforded me uh, a source of income, which I'm grateful for because I couldn't have learned that elsewhere. Uh, I was not involved specifically in organizing, but I was always on picket lines. Uh, we are part of uh, a larger union, which includes uh, carpenters, uh, grips, people behind the scenes, and, when they, and actors. And when they go on strike, we strike with them and the picket line in solidarity. You, you meet a lot of other artists, for one thing. You learn a lot of other things from people that uh, perhaps you would never know, you would never know in other circumstances. And that includes, uh, like I said, different materials and techniques, which I applied to my own work. So that was quite wonderful. I suggest that they first look at the website, which is local 829 United Scenic Artist. Uh, the office is here in New York. And um, if you Google the website, you will find a great deal of information about the organization and how to join. You'll find the link in the description of the video. My own website is uh, Richard Lorenzi Ceramics.com. My last name is like Ralph Lauren with a ZI on the end. <laughs> so. I'm currently working in ceramics, but um, I spent many years working in other techniques, especially stone carving, uh, which I studied in Italy. My, my personal work is inspired by the art of the ancient world. And you can see that when you check my website out. The art of the ancient world means a lot to me. And that's where I find my inspiration. 